to shake up from VBA workflow automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a calendar to write the dates correctly from a user form. I've also made a video you can check out about how powerful user forms are, where I'm going to explain how you can use a data entry user form to get the correct data into your sheets. So you can check that out. I can link it here. Anyways, let's get started with developing a simple user form where you can attach a calendar to. So you get the correct data format. So my language here in Excel is in Danish, but this is basically the developer tab you go into and then Visual Basic, or you can do it in Alt F11. So we're going to start creating one module. And we can just call that uh, open user form. And then we're going to create two user forms. So the first one could just be simple. You can just call that um, enter date. Just something simple. And we're going to make it super simple. So you'll understand how to use the calendar. So we're just going to have a simple text box here. And you can name that text box date. And then have a command box here. Something like that. And we're just going to not write anything here. That's to activate the calendar. You will see that in a, in a minute. So we can call that command button calendar. And then we're going to create the second user form where the calendar should be in. So we can call this... Uh, Calendar. Here. Okay, so we're going to add a calendar here, and it's called the month view. And I already added to the toolbox, but if you don't have it, you can right click on the toolbox here, additional controls. You're going to find it on a Microsoft month view. Let's have a look here. Yep, yeah. this one. So you add that to your toolbox, and then you have it here. And then you just drag it on the user form here. And it's very, very simple. Let's make it a little bit pretty here. Yeah, something like that, right? So when you run this macro here, you have the calendar. And then now you have to activate it into the other user form. Let me explain. Okay, so the way you set it up is you double tap on the calendar. And then you're inside the click function inside of the month view. And then we wanted to write the date they pick into the text box of the other user form. And the way we do that is simple writing the user form's name, not this user form, but the other user form. So we're going to write into date. And then we're going to point it to text box date here. 
this is the name of the text box we have from the other user form. And we're gonna choose that one and we're gonna set that equal with format they click here so basically what they clicked in the month view data click function and then we're gonna set the format to dates months and years like this and then we're gonna finish the parentheses and I'm writing these things with small letters so I know it corrects it with the big letter. That's how you can see if the code see this and reads this correctly. If it doesn't change the small letters to big letters, you have written something wrong. And then we're gonna unload this user form. So we say unload me and it changed the U from small to big letter. And then it sh we should be good to go. So let's test this out. And the reason why we made a new module was to open the first user form, the interdate user form. So here we're gonna write, again with small letters, interdate.show. That's how you open a user form. Enter, and it changed the E to a big letter. Then we're gonna go down and create a, a button that could open the the user form, and it could just be something simple like this thing or whatever. You get the idea. It could be, it could be anything. And then we write uh, open date form. You get the idea. And then we're gonna attach it here. Uh, attach macro is the English translation of this. And then we're gonna attach open user form here. This and open the calendar user form by writing calendar show. Now it should work. So we open the date form and we click on this. That will open the calendar. And today it's 25th of January, 2024. It always marks today's day. But let's say we're just gonna put uh, 14 of March here. And then it writes it here, 14 of March. So that's how you make a user form and attach a calendar you can use. And you can even go a step further and attach this uh, user form and print this date out in a sheet. But this was a quick, simple video to show you how to attach a calendar. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. If you have an idea of what topics I should make videos about related to automation in Excel using VBA Visual Basic, Please let me know in the comments below, and then I will make a video about that. And then until next time, I will see you in the next video.